So it's late Sunday night and I wanted to try something before I did it for like a whole video. And now I know I'm gonna do it for a whole video. Um, I wanna change up the ends. They're feeling really not cute. Um, great for other people. Me, I just want a little more softness. So I'm just going to be adding more of these to all of them. Tomorrow it's going to start. I have to go get hair. I don't have any blonde. And uh, yeah, we're going to do this. Okay, so it's late at night and I'm a hot mess because it's been a day. But um, I promised I would record this, so I am going to record this. I wanted to add ends, and I tried one last night. Um, oh, my curtain, it's windy out. Um, I just wanted to see what would happen because I just have these little tiny ends, and I want fluffy, long, pretty ends. I'm just not loving this straggly look. So I'm not adding like full on extensions, just kind of halfway extension you know go with me on this we're gonna see how it works out um i'm so glad you're with me uh, i should say my name hi sunshine my name is liza jane and some of you also know me as liza lox I am a hot, hot mess, but I've got my blonde Sally's Beauty hair. I don't know. It was the only blonde they have left. I guess they're having issues because of COVID getting deliveries. So we're going with this blonde. Um, I'm also thinking that this pink might go very, very soon. It turned pink. It was orange. But anyway, I'm going to show you uh, how I do this and then I'm just gonna get busy doing it. It'll probably take me a couple days because I probably just won't sit here and do it, do it. But um, I'm taking you along for the ride. So here we go. I'm going to start <laughs> my curtains. Um, let me just pin them back. Okay, I'm gonna start with, now this is less than I would use on a normal extension because I don't need a whole, I'm not making an extension the size of my locks. I'm making the end and the end of my locks taper so you can see it gets smaller as it gets closer to the end so I don't need a heck of a lot so it's just this small let me put it next to something that you can relate to how about this everybody knows what a little iPod case like that okay we're gonna do that I'm gonna cut off the top just like that let it fall to the ground because that's how we're okay it went somewhere it's okay then I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna half it like this. Now you can shuffle it if you want. Um, so you have different lengths going different ways. I'm really not that worried about it. Uh, <laughs> we're skipping that part. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I have my end here. I'm gonna go uh, into the bottom part where it is actually knotted, okay? Uh, you don't wanna go under that because then you would have, um, it wouldn't stay in. So you have to go into the knots. Now I'm just pulling it through halfway. I pulled that one way too much. We'll add that back in. But I'm just pulling, putting my needle in. You guys know I love my latch hook. I have a new one I'm getting off Amazon. I really like it. Um, the next door neighbors have their band over and they are rehearsing. So maybe you can hear that. <laughs> anyway, it's always fun on. Tuesday, Monday, what day is it? Monday nights, they rehearse. So anyway, I'm just putting this through, just pulling it halfway. I'm just putting my needle in. I'm not doing anything tricky, but pulling that hair through at the very bottom. Do you see that? Looks like a spider. And I just want it to come through different ways so that it's not all coming in one spot. So we want it to come in through different spots and you can kind of tell which hairs need to be pulled through. Just like this. How easy was that? Okay, so now it looks like this, right? And then we are just gonna take our comb 
and we're gonna back comb it. A little different than when I normally do my extensions. You guys know I do my twist and rip first. We're not gonna do that for this because we wanna make sure that it's hanging on before we start twist and ripping, which we're not even gonna do twist and rip on this, I don't think. Now remember, I don't know what I'm doing. We're just trying it out. I'm not, you know, I just do the best I can and go with the wind and the wind is going, I'm telling you. So anyway, I'm just gonna pull this one through. It came out. Just pull that through. Okay. And then let's make sure it's all on there like this. And then we're just going to start. If you guys are new with the latch hook or me making my extensions, you can check out. I will put a link above and below, of course, so that you can watch me make your dream extensions. But I'm just going to go in and start my stitches like normal. Now, it always takes a good washing before these are going to look right because otherwise it just looks like straight, crazy, weird hair. And I'm not going far because these are my own locks now and I really like knowing where they're at. I just wanted pretty ends. Now I'll have to care for these. I will have to keep them brushed if I want them to stay flowy and not lock up. Otherwise they are seriously going to start locking up. Um, so it's up to you. Do you want them to lock up? Do you not want them to? Um, if you are going to comb them after, I suggest combing them after a shower, um, very gently. So see, I have just done that. That's all I'm doing. And then I like to put a little bandaid over it just so that, um, it has a nice blend to it. So watch this. You know I love band-aids and band-aids we use for when um, we have like uh, weak spots they're really good for blending ombre it's really good for um, but I'm gonna take do you see that all I did was take a little piece of hair start with a little because you can always add more hair if you need to but if you put too much you could have a pregnant belly on your lock and we don't want a pregnant belly um, we just want it to gradually flow to our loose end and all I'm doing is pulling that kind of through where I want it to go and then I'll crochet just gonna make it seamless so that you can't tell that, yes, I just added this end to my hair. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work or if it's gonna be pretty. I hope so, I hope it's pretty. I liked the one I did last night. And uh, for me, it's so much easier to do hairstyles when you have, um, it's not even about the length sometimes, it's about those ends. And I love my ends to do all the work so I don't need hair ties. I can use my ends to tie everything. So in that way, I'm looking forward to this. Um, I'm not really worried about length. I still don't love that. So I'm just gonna add just a little more. Like literally, it's so little. I'm gonna take it, and make a little bird's nest with it. Just like that. And I'm gonna go directly on that part I wanna fix because I am just not loving that spot. Band-aids are the shape in it. Yes, we're getting there. Don't be too hard on yourself. Remember, perfectly imperfect locks are where it's at because all locks are perfectly imperfect. Oh, yes. We've got a more seamless look. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Um, I appreciate it so much. And yeah, I think the next video is definitely gonna be pink coming out of my hair. Pink, how do I always end up with pink again? But remember, I have that video on how to remove pink, um, any semi-permanent hair, um, and it works great. So. It's really not damaging, so I'm probably gonna do that. I just couldn't wait on these, especially because I had one and I felt really weird all day. So, got two. 
and it's gonna change. The look is gonna change once it's washed, okay? So don't judge too hard. We'll, I'll definitely wash before the end of this video so you can see how it sucks up. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on going and you're just gonna hang out and come along for the ride. It's starting to rain. We'll hear the band a little bit less. And I'm gonna watch Survivor with Aurora. So when you see me looking up, that's what I'm doing. We've watched all the survivors uh, from the beginning. I had already watched them all, but I'm re-watching them with her. And I think we're on season 34, 33, I don't know. But we've had so much fun watching them. Anyway, what's a show that you watch that you could watch over and over again? Mine is Gossip Girl. I love Gossip Girl, love, yeah. So anyway, um, let's go. It's a dramatic. Okay, so I'm learning as I go, but when you're pulling the hair through, kind of come at an angle down so that the hair is going through the lock this way. So it's coming downward. So you're training it that it's going to go this way instead of trying to corral everybody and pull it down. So anyway, trial and error, this is a better way. So it's just going in and then down like that, still through the locked part of the hair, but more at an angle. She a dick day, she a dick day To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She a dick day, she a dick day To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She a diva like Madonna Gotta have it, she all done up And if she see it, if she cop it she don't care if you don't like her She rockin' crew necks with some bands she never heard of Black skinny jeans, docks on in her hair done Got an attitude, she'll give it to your face She don't really care what anybody thinks She a dick day, she a dick day To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She a dick day, she a dick day To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem Got her nails like she walking way too long. I'm back. I didn't work at all on them yesterday and it's tricky because I'm filming and taking pictures still um, for TikTok and Instagram. So I keep having to <laughs> tuck them so they don't show. But anyway, I need to finish up today. So that is my goal. Finish things up. What do you think? I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. So I'm just gonna she a dick day, she a dick day To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She a dick day, she a dick day To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She a dick day to the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She a dick day, she a dick day To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She a diva like Madonna Gotta have it, she all done up 
And if she see it, if she cop it She don't care if you don't like it She rockin' crow necks with some bands she never heard of Black skinny jeans, docks on in her hair done Got an attitude, she'll give it to your face She don't really care what anybody thinks She addicted, she addicted To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She addicted, she addicted To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem Got her nails like she walking on a carpet Take a picture Cause she gotta show the new fit Paper straws cause she gotta say the plan And wildflower case match a fit cause she planning She a killer with some money on the way Gotta pack up and move to LA She don't need a man, she gon' do it her own way Take him out on a date and she pay She addicted, she addicted To the manicures and coffee But don't say that cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She addicted she addicted to the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem Yeah, she more than her pictures And she don't need a man to save her She's so much more than these manicures and coffee She a boss, she a queen, she the whole team College education, she gon' get it Maybe be a doctor or maybe one for Senate She don't need you, she's so independent She gon' kill it, it don't matter what she she addicted, she addicted to the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She addicted, she addicted to the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem Good morning. I stayed up till about 4.30 and I got all but three done. I just couldn't anymore. My hands were done. My head was done. I was starting to fall asleep while I was working on them. <laughs> Nodding off. So I thought it was time to end, but I just have a few more in the back to do. Yay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I freaking love them. Um, they feel really good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I hope I did okay while I was sleeping. Um, I am going to promise myself I'm going to work on combing these after I shower so that um, they stay nice and fluffy because, as we know, if I don't, they're just going to shrink. Well, they probably still will. The hair eventually is going to get smaller. But the great thing is you can go ahead and add more if you want to at that point. But for now, I think it looks gorgeous. It just makes me feel so much better than when they were just the little guys. I am going to try out, um, Dolly Lock sent me the Nong Champa Tightening Spray. And I am going to give that, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. I'm gonna give that a try. Um, you can use it on wet or dry hair. Let's see if I can figure out the bottle. Hmm. How does it work? What do you do? Unlock. Unlock. It says unlock. Unlock. Oh, there. Just push it. So... I've never used a tightening spray, so we're gonna give it a whirl. It smells delicious. Um, if you don't know already, I am obsessed with the smell of Nong Champa. I will actually just like put the essential oils right on my lock just to smell it. Um, and this is super yummy, um, addictive. So I'm just scrunching up the bottoms of my hair. I can't wait to try curling them. I think I'll make a video of me actually curling the ends this weekend. But um, what do you guys think? 
tell me in the comments uh, what you think of the new ends. If it's something that you would try, I'd love to hear. Um, do you think I need to change up the color right away? I'm kind of thinking that I need a break from working on my hair. It's been a few days. Usually I sit and get it done. And the first two days, I just didn't. I was so lackadaisical about it. And now I was like crunch time. I wanted to finish this video so I could take pictures again and make videos again. Because <laughs> I'm trying to keep it for a big reveal. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, so glad you did. Uh, again, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I also have so many videos on helping you create uh, perfectly imperfect human hair extensions. I teach a workshop. If you would like to do that on Zoom with me, I have one coming in November. There's always one every couple months. So hit me up if it's something that you're interested in. It's a great investment in yourself. As you know, extensions don't last forever. It's great to change them every year or two. So it's a great investment into yourself. Also, um, check out my merchandise and my Patreon. I'm so grateful for my patrons over there. Um, and we are doing once a week Zoom calls now. So we get to hang out together every Wednesday. And um, it's just a great way to get to know each other and, I don't know, feel like the besties we are. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing day. Please check me out on TikTok and Instagram. And I will see you soon. Take care. So I washed my hair this morning. It's still damp, but um, I love it. It feels so good. And I feel like it looks the best, dare I say it, the best my locks have ever looked. I can't wait to decorate them. And um, I don't know, I'm just super excited. This curl was brought to you by the scrunch. <laughs> but I think this weekend I'll do um, the curling iron or sometime soon and I'll film it, I promise. But I'm loving it, it feels good. It just has so much movement to it and super soft. I washed it like normal. I conditioned the ends and I um, brushed them very gently with a wet brush um, after my shower. So anyway, what do you think? I think I love them.